Hey guys, Kurt from Time Machine Transport and Sarah, my wife. Just picked up the truck for Freightliner. Um, for my tag. Anyways, um, my, all my whole entire front end's screwed on this truck, so new springs, new bushings, new shackles, new this, new that, but the bid was like nine, a little over $9,000. So I'm going to do it at the shop myself. I'm going to go out for a few weeks and then uh come back and i'm gonna do it they don't have the parts in stock so anyways that's not for the reason for the video reason for the video is to show you the finished floor um a little dirty right now obviously so i did have one mistake right there um and because on the first on the videos where i said i had to move it up by the foot pedals i had to move it up closer why well, i didn't take an, an account that that was going to move up the mark there so you can't even really i mean you could tell but you have to really be looking for it anyways um i put new metal down because i had the um these corners that we did when we built the cabinets in here and they're they're always breaking so i got a little sick and tired of it but what i did was i'm gonna i'm gonna grab some silicone this is already silicone so it's a sharp edge I, I clipped my head on this so many times. Not on this metal, but on the the piece that I had up here. And it shit about knocked me out. So I got smart and I put it... It still hurt if you, get, if you hit your head on there. But anyways, I did new metaling. I just got to put some silicone on the edges. Um, went all the way back. It's just a better look. I like it. And around the fridge as well. I silicone this side already. Um... But anyways, it's just a nicer look, I think. And I'm tired of these pieces breaking. These pieces around these edges were breaking all the time. So this obviously will never break. So basically, it's just a metal piping that I cut with a uh, with a um, an angle grinder at the shop, and then uh, just uh, use silicone to adhere it, and it's super super tight. And then I just taped it in place. But anyways, so that's the way the floor turned out. This is where the seam was. Um, and I have a big carpet that I put right here, so you'll barely, you only see a little bit here and a little bit there for the carpet. Um, and then, obviously I took the seat out. I'm going to love the additional room, um, but I went ahead and painted the covers, um, and because they were pretty scarred up. But uh, I have to get one of the, uh, an air blower so I can blow out the truck. But if you ever have to... Uh, temporarily move something just take a vice grip and pinch off the end and then obviously i marked all the um bolts and installed the bolts with big washers painted them up black so they blend a little better um and then that way if my wife ever goes out with me if i have a friend that wants to go on the road for a few weeks i just reinstall the seat but this is going to give me so much more room man i can do calisthenics in here i could do jumping jacks I can do yoga, I can do whatever, man, it doesn't really matter, so obviously I'm not doing any of that, but you can see just how much more room, especially when you flap it like we do, you got so much, you got your safety gear, your hard hat, all that kind of stuff, so I'm actually going to stack um, food and water here, I'll probably end up getting like 8 gallons of water in cardboard boxes and just laying them across here, but it really just cleaned everything up, man, it really did. The guy that put our seat in, Greg Horsfall, you fucking piece of shit if you're ever watching this video. Brand new $800 seat when we first did the inside of this truck. And because he didn't um, pull, he didn't sink a nail, he, he ran a nail and the nail was sticking out. And when the seat was reclined with the bouncing of the seat, caught the nail and ripped the shit out of it. It's just a little, it's a rip right here, but you can see it's still, I don't know, it just... Uh, that I just re replaced the uh, the tape every now and then, but it's really just a, a rip right here, so I get a little overzealous on the tape. But, anyways, just wanted to do a follow up with you guys. What we did was, um, I'll show you over here. Oops, sorry. When we installed the the trim pieces here, you can see there's no screws. 
So just again, I just use silicone, man, and that thing is, it's rock solid in there. So, um, and then just went ahead and ca caulked the, um, the edges here, obviously painted this, like I said, and then, uh, just siliconed it with, uh, or secured it and sealed it with a uh, black silicone and all the way up just black silicone black silicone and this floor i'm going to be so much more happy with and then obviously just dump some silicone on the other side or wherever your airlines come in but this really secured up quite nice and on the other side On the other side, same thing. Uh, she secured. Uh, this is probably a little, little bit more wobbly. So, I have uh, black silicone in the shop. I'll probably leave in tomorrow, hopefully. So, if I can find a lot, I'll just wipe down the inside. But that's uh, obviously what it looks like. But went ahead and installed it up underneath. Like I said, you can see the little bitty mistake there. But but went ahead and caulked everything in place, nice and neat. And this, adhering it with the, the black caulk, um, it's not the best caulk job. I was kind of in a rush because we were going on vacation, and I had to get this over to Freightliner. So I was on this side here, I was a little bit more sloppy, but that's all right. Anyways, um, I just got to run another bead here. I guess I didn't run a bead. I was in that much of a, of a hurry here, so I just got to run, run the bead here. But other than that... Everything turned out very well. I'm going to be so, 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 so much more happy with this floor. Like I said, I really made a mistake by putting that other floor in. Um, and like I said, if you watch the other videos, you will see exactly what we used for this uh, for this floor. This is going to hold up so much nicer. So anyways, if you like the content, if you like uh, what we're dishing out, please like and subscribe to the channel. Ciao.